Comrades Ryan here, Speed Ministry. So today's menu we got Ford Ranger 2011. They actually were made from about 2010 to 2016. Then they got replaced with a newer model. So what these are, 3.2 paired up either with six-speed manual or six-speed auto. Back in the day, they were literally the go-to you to buy. Great chassis, drives really good, pretty comfortable. Every boat ramp had about 60 of them sitting around. So this particular specimen, 150,000 K, Air filter that probably should be done by right about now, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to leave absolutely everything stock as you wouldn't have a brand new car or fresh out of service car yourself. You would have something that's got a few miles on it. And I want to show you what these do with a daily tune. Again, we're not targeting massive gains. We're targeting something you will drive on the daily basis, just with a bit more oomph to it. Let's go have a look what they do. Right, you've seen the dyno run. There are two things that drive me pretty mental on these in the stock version. A, you go to take off from the light or any intersection, you stomp it and just nothing happens there. Something comes on a little bit later. Second, you go to overtake someone, you duck out, the car gives you a very short burst of power, then dies down and you sort of have to duck back in. Now, this is what you can see on the behavior of torque on this car as well. So, gray line is the stock ute. You have a burst of power which comes in at about 1800 RPM and it's all out by 3.1. What do you have with our tune? You have power coming in quite a bit earlier, even at 1500 RPM you're already building 46 Newton meters of torque more. Now the moment you're on full boost, you got 492 Newton meters of torque stock, but you're now running 580, that's about 90 Newton meters more. All the way through, and you have that happening all the way to 3,500 RPM. Even at the end, you are making 379 Newton meters. And before, you just used to have 209. That's massive difference. Horsepower. What we got? The difference is pretty apparent from 1,800 RPM. You used to run 127 horsepower at the engine. You're now 150. A little bit further up at 2700, you used to have 183, you're now 215. And the interesting part comes at about 3 4. 195 on the stock yield, on the tuned one, 243.2 horsepower. Best part about it, it actually stays a hell of a lot longer. It's there at 225 horsepower, even at 4100 RPM. So, again, this is not a tune that would see you off to the moon. This is the tune that you can safely run every day, do 700 kilometers a week, enjoy it, and you still got decent power with it. Give us a call, we'll get it sorted for you.